Designed for comfort, built for strength, a claim for everything. The deep value of the GL defines its shape, and its shape defies every limitation of large SUVs. Aerodynamic and athletic outside, it's advanced and accommodating inside. From its sporty grille to substantial wheels to its sleek tail, every element of the GL comes together to create an award-winning, true, fulfilling, full-size SUV. When inside the GL, it is spacious, special, and especially welcoming. Large side doors and innovative easy entry second row seat welcome up to seven adults to three rows of luxury seating including the generous third row. The standard power lift gate, power folding third row and 60-40 split second row accommodate up to 93.8 cubic feet of cargo. In any configuration, the GL has an extraordinary capacity to satisfy. There's also a multitude of innovations for multi-lane roadways. Technological teamwork helps make highway driving safer and easier. Distronic Plus Cruise Control uses radar to adapt your speed to traffic flow, even stop and go. Blind Spot and Lane Keeping Assist can alert you if it's unsafe to change lanes or if you start to drift. Active technology can help guide the GL back into its own lane. So today we'll be looking at the all new 2016 GL450 AMG in steel gray metallic. Here's the key fob to the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also switch this over to the side to release the manual key. Let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust. The GL does come with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or somewhere in your body. To unlock, put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch right there. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior come in black MB text along with anthracite polar wood trim. Now do be careful when stepping inside the GL, it is kind of high. Here's a quick view of the back. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. To open the hood, there's going to be a red lever located down here. Pull this red lever down. This will initially open the front hood. And to open it fully, there's going to be another lever located in the center. Simply push that up and raise the hood. Under the hood, the 2016 GL450 features a 3 liter V6 bi-turbo engine with direct injection that pushes out 362 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque. It is a 7-speed automatic transmission with shift paddles. The GL450 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.6 .6 seconds. This is all possible thanks to the V6 engine and the Formatic permanent all-wheel drive system. As for fuel economy, the GL450 gets 17 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 19 miles per gallon. To further enhance gas mileage, the GL is also equipped with the Eagle Start and Stop feature, with the equal start and stop function on, the GL engine will automatically shut off at red lights or when stuck in traffic, and as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart. There's the lever I told you about earlier. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper. Chrome hood fins. Moving down, we have the most noticeably iconic Mercedes door with the optional illuminate feature, surrounded by the sporty grille and aerodynamic bumper kit. To help with visibility, there's the LED daytime running lights along with the optional lighting package that includes the bi xenon headlights with adaptive curve illumination and adaptive high beam assist. Lastly, parking assists are also integrated into the front bumper. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, auto dimming function, power folding control, 
And lastly, it is equipped with a built-in blind spot assist system to notify the driver if there's a car in our blind spot when changing lanes. Here's a quick view of the underside. This specific model comes with the optional 20-inch wheels. Behind the wheels, we have the four ventilated anti-lock disc brakes with adaptive brake technology, electronic stability control, and brake assist system. All four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. And as we move over to the side, there's also the optional illuminate running boards. Looks very nice. To the back on top, there's the rear deck spoiler with integrated LED brake light in the center. Rear window intermittent wiper and washer. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a very nice safety feature to help the driver in backing out and parking. Parking assists are also integrated into the rear bumper. LED tail lamps with a fiber optic effect make an equally eye catching impression as you accelerate away. With long life and low energy consumption, the light emitting lamps offer both immediate and lasting safety benefits to match the impactful style statement. Lastly at the bottom, there's the eye catching chrome exhaust tip. And to distinguish this model from other models, there's the GL450 badge located on the left hand side. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. The GL450 can hold up to 26.4 gallon of gas, and it is recommended to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and show you what's inside the trunk. With the second and third row seat folded, you can get up to 93.8 cubic feet of cargo space. As you can see here we have the trunk cover you can simply pull this out hook it on both sides simply let it go and it will simply retract trunk lighting with a 12 volt core charger outlet trunk net there core mats first aid kit a hook on this side and as you know there's next to it there's two controls which these switches are used to fold down the third row seat. As you can see there, simply push down on it to fold down the seat. And now you have plenty of space for luggage. You can also fold down the second row seat. Now if we lift this up, we have your spare tire along with all the tools. Also hook on each side. And to raise the third row seat back up, just lift the power button out and it will raise right back up. This also hooks on the back seat here. On top we have more trunk lighting and you can close the tailgate manually or use this button. The lock button is to lock the door and this button is to lock the tailgate. I'm 5 foot 7 and I have to kind of tiptoe to reach the button. And as you notice there the trunk raised right back up due to a blockage. And it's just this simple plastic piece here. Just go ahead and move it away. And let's try that one more time. Very nice. Now to show you complete view of the top. On top we have the power tilt and slide sunroof. There's also a roof rails that allows you to carry extra luggage on top. And here it is with the tilt function on.
Here's the sunroof fully open. And we're back on the inside. Here we have the leather wrap multi spoke steering wheel. Looks and feels very comfortable. Over here we have the different control that allows you to control everything on the digital display here. Mercedes Benz logo in the middle with the horn. Voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option, and audio volume control mode over here. Gear shift paddle, one on each side. And here's a gear shift box to control. Push your foot down the brake. Push up to put the car into reverse. And when you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display on the screen here with guided lines, which move according to the movement of the steering wheels. Light down to put the car into neutral. Heavy down to put the car into drive. And press a button on the end to put the car back into park. Over here, we have your windshield wiper control along with the right and left turn signal. This small knob is used to control the steering wheel placement and the longer one is the cruise control. Driver air vent. Starting with the left, we have fog light control and headlamps control. Here's your parking brake. Driver sun view visor. Also have light on top which turn on and off according to open and closure of the mirror. You can move this over to the side for better sun coverage and better yet still have another piece in front of you. Hand bar on top there. Beautiful navigation display with two additional air vents on each side. Audio control, volume control knob in the middle, that's the way you insert your CD. Twist this knob to control the volume and press down on the button to turn the audio on or off. To the left side we have the different display selection. Here's navigation, radio. and your keypad over there. There's also a SD core slot right here. Hazard light control, traction control, equal driving mode, parking assist, and both front seats are ventilated. Here we have the dual climate zone control. Twist this knob to control the temperature. Another storage compartment here. Looks very nice there. In here we have two cup holders. 12 volt core charger outlet. You can use the uh, cup holders as a cooler or a heater. Blue for cold and red for hot. Cigarette ashtray. Use this knob to control everything that's going to be on the navigation screen. It is multi-directional and you can press down on it to select. Over here we have the heel descent control along with the suspension control. Storage compartment there. Inside the mirror armrest compartment we have this removable piece. And way under it we have two USB input. It also comes with a free iPhone 6 charger. Glove box compartment. Very spacious. As you can see there's another compartment on top.
and here's a complete view of the dash. Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener, roadside assistant button there in red, light control on top, and here we have a spot for you to put your glasses. All the different lighting controls here, and in the middle, we have your sunroof control. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Door lock and unlock button. Front seat power control with up to three memory seating for the driver's seat. Power window control along with the side view control on top. Feels very nice here with the white stitching. Looks also very nice. Side door storage compartment. Trunk release switch. Mercedes-Benz door seal, brake and gas pedal, that's just used to control the bolsters of the seat there, and here's a complete view of the driver's seat. You can also adjust the seat belt by moving it up or down. And the lock and unlock function works on all four doors. Here's a quick view of the back seat. Power window control there. Side door compartment. Again, I am 5'7", so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have. I have no problem with space back here. Complete view of the front from sitting in the second row seat here. Two additional air vents for the rear. Storage compartment there. And in here we have a uh, small spot for you to put anything you need, change, or use it as a cigarette ashtray. Another 12 volt core charger outlet. Back seat net storage. And two additional cup holders. Here's a closer look at the seat. Handball on top with light control and a spot for you to hang anything you need there. And as I mentioned earlier, the second row seat can be folded down also. You can lift this out. And to fold down the seat, you can simply push this button on the top here. This will lower the headrest and automatically fold down the seat. And it is a 60-40 split. Or you can fold the seat down manually by putting this lever up. Here's a quick view of the third row seat. And I am currently in the back third row seat. Not much space back here. But it is doable if you have kids. Here's a quick view of the front. Back here we have another cup holder here. And another one on this side. Light control on top. Very nice. And here's a closer look at the third row seat.
All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.